Randomness is a quality that means there is no order or predictability in a system. It's great for visual effects because you can leverage it to make images that appear rich and varied that can match the real world's complex nature. What do we mean by randomness in a computer? What is it that we're trying to create? One meaning could be that we want to generate a value which was unexpected, such as the brightness of a pixel. We can also extend this concept to mean when we generate many values together, that they appear perceivably random in relation to each other. We also have to think about the domain in which these values are generated. By that I mean the values could be generated across some physical space next to each other and are meant to appear different all at once when you look at them, or they could be generated one by one across a time span. They mean two different things. Spatial noise is usually used to texture a surface to break up the appearance, and temporal noise, or time-based noise, is used to make things pulse, wobble, or phase. Another quality that we desire from randomness is reproducibility. This is the ability for the random number generator to produce random numbers one after the other and always give the same result in the same order you ask them. The values themselves are random, but every time you start the sequence of random numbers, the same values come out in the same order. It will become apparent to you as we go through this course that predictable unpredictability can be very useful. One of the reasons for this is due to how graphics hardware in your computer works versus the main CPU. Imagine we are trying to create a texture, and we are doing it for example using the blueprint system in Unreal. We could loop through a 2D array, generate a random value for each position in the array, and call it done. This concept is known as a scatter approach. We are starting with one central system and handing out or scattering values sequentially, one after the other. We ultimately want to generate randomness in a GPU shader, but GPUs work differently from the scatter approach. When we run a GPU shader, each pixel runs independently from all of the other pixels. This is fine until we need to find out what that pixel's neighbor's value is. Some situations, as we will soon see, will call for this. From the point of view of the pixel, it has no way of knowing what the value is because they are all generated at the same time. The other issue is that on one frame we can render these random values and everything is great, but when we go to render the next frame we get a completely different result. We need a way to control the way these random numbers are generated so that they produce the same ones under certain circumstances. The solution is that most algorithms that generate randomness or noise have some way of seeding the generator of the values. This means that you plant a seed, and every time you generate a random value, you get the same result, providing the seed was the same as the one you had before. You might see some generators that initially take a seed, and from then on generate different values every time, but then they can be reseeded to reset them. And if they're reseeded with the same seed as before, they will generate the same sequence of numbers. If they're given a different seed, then they can generate a whole new sequence that is unique to that seed, but again, predictably unpredictable. A random generator is about asking a question and predictably getting the same answer back. The methods we'll be looking at in this module will primarily be taking a seed value every time we call on the generator to give us a value. This means for every pixel in our pixel shader. This is kind of like asking it a question. We can provide it with a seed and provided that we always ask with the same question, we'll always get the same answer. This is how pixels can be rendered with the same values across multiple frames, or get the values of their neighbors. We can provide something that is a consistent property of the pixel, such as its world position, and feed that into the generator, and always get the same result. A pixel can then also ask the generator for the value of the position next to it by offsetting its own position slightly and getting the right answer every time. This is known as the gather approach.